I'm Katie Powell from Sing Without Limits, and this is the Vocal Power Hour. Today, we're going to venture to the great big world of mix. Mix is the other sound I teach singers, and it's so versatile I can't wait to tell you all about it. I mean, you've probably already heard of it because singers throw this term around all the time. Surprise, surprise, there's a lot of different information out there. So I'm going to clarify for you what mix is when I talk about it, as well as what else it can be when others talk about it. And then we'll dig into learning how to do it. In legit singing, that's the classical stuff, there's a place in your voice where you have to choose where to place a note. Either down here, in your chest register, or up here in your head register. This is because the head voice can be brought down as low as an A flat below middle C, like this. And the chest voice can safely go as high as an A above middle C, like this. This part of the legit voice, where the overlapping occurs, is sometimes referred to as the mixed voice or the mixed register. This is not the mix that I'm talking about today. Mine's way cooler. Uh. No, it, it, it's not that. It's, it, it's different mix. In contemporary singing, there are two separate sounds that are used in a variety of ways, belt and mix. And these are both specific vocal techniques that, when mastered, have endless variations and adjustments that can be used to create any style you want. Sounds pretty magical. In the legit version, the soft palate is raised the entire time, which causes the voice to break when it switches from the chest register into the head register. Sort of like when a, a bicycle shifts gears and the chains sound like they're going through some sort of like major grindy, clicky trauma. Is that normal or, or is it time for me to buy a new bike? Some classical instructors teach some sort of mystical thing where you're supposed to somehow combine the chest register with the head register to create a mixed register. But in legit singing, anatomically, you're either in one or the other, period. Just like that bicycle can't be in two gears at the same time. So. To remain in a classical voice, you have to make a choice between your head and chest registers and be able to negotiate the breaks in between. However, once you begin to lower the soft palate, you're in contemporary territory where those breaks go away completely and your voice can have as much or as little power as you give it. Much like a teenager, but with far less door slamming. Now it is possible in legit singing to exercise your way to a smoother break between registers, and it's something I suggest, even to contemporary singers, because it makes your belt and mix even that much stronger. You see, the mix technique, which I'm about to show you, is entirely based on the strength of your legit. Your mix won't have any breaks, but where your legit breaks are is where you'll feel a little bit weaker in your mix. That is, until you strengthen those breaks in your legit. So what is mix? Well, my technical answer is that it's taking your legit voice and putting it in belt placement. It's not a certain range of your voice, nor is it some kind of mystical combining of registers. So let's break down some of these terms so that I know that we're on the same page. Number one, register. Registers are regions of your voice, like the chest register or the head register. They get these names because of where they resonate or make vibrations in your body. So if you put your hand on your chest, skin on skin, it's better than over a shirt, and you create a, bi a big yawn-like space in your mouth, then make a deep sound like you're impersonating a man yawning, <sighs> your hand will feel the vibrations in, in your chest and that's your chest register. Now in your head register, the vibrations bounce all over your skull and in your sinus cavities. And the only place you can feel this on the outside is your teeth. But if you make a really high sound like you're cheering for your favorite sports team, woohoo! 
You can also sometimes just feel a little bit of lightheadedness just from the resonance in your head. Or you can put your thumb under your front teeth and sustain a really high sound with a yawn-like space in the back of your mouth and feel the vibration in your teeth through your thumb. Now the best part is that I know all of you just put your thumb in your mouth. Just like you, I am more powerful than I thought. Number two, soft palate. In singing, the soft palate is your friend. You want to think of it as a switch in your body. Now if it's switched up, you will have a legit sound. If it's switched down, you will have either a belt or a mix sound. Or you'll be talking. The soft palate is that, that squishy part of the roof of your mouth where the uvula or the hangy down thing, if we want to be technical, is. Now when you yawn, that squishy part stretches up in your mouth to block off the passageway into your nose. And this is what is responsible for creating that open classical sound. Now in its relaxed, neutral position, your soft palate is lowered, which leaves the passageway into your nose open and available, which is what makes belt and mix sound so much more familiar and approachable, like your speaking voice, which naturally has just a little bit of nasality to it. So switching this palate to the up or down position drastically changes the way your voice sounds because of where the sound will resonate, depending on whether or not it has access to the nasal passage. I bet you had no idea your nose had that much responsibility. I told you, I'm all about teaching new things. Number three is placement. Placement is the more common term used to describe where the sound is resonating or in which position the soft palate is, up or down. You might say that you're placing the sound in your chest voice, which means that your soft palate is up and the sound is resonating in your chest. You might be placing your sound forward, which can mean either belt or mix, but it's an indication that you are singing contemporary with a lowered soft palate. So if your mix is taking your legit voice and moving it to your belt placement, that means that it's taking a classical voice that's created with a raised soft palate like a yawn and making the same type of sound only with a lowered soft palate like when you talk. So let's do a fun exercise to show you what I mean. I call this exercise back to front and it's the fastest way that I've found to explain demonstrate and describe mix. It's also the way we were taught never to wipe. Too much? Probably, but you won't forget it now, will you? You're welcome. We're going to start out singing a fairly high legit note with a very raised soft palate. We're going to sustain this note and listen to how the sound changes as we lower the soft palate, which feels like the relax inside your mouth just milliseconds after a yawn. In fact, first, let's do some yawning. It's so contagious. All you have to do is yawn and you can do it practically on command. You may even be one of those people that starts yawning just from hearing the word yawn so many times. Yawn! Sorry, I can't stop. Let's try to do it in slow-mo. So slowly feel your mouth open up inside, even still with closed lips. Feel it stretch in the back, and maybe even your ears will pop a little. Once you inhale, pay really close attention to your exhale. At the very end of it, you will feel that big raised stretch in the back. Relax. We're going to start out by singing a fairly high legit note with a raised soft palate like this. And sustain it with the same yawn space that we just created. It sounds totally different than your speaking voice, right? Now we're going to gradually start relaxing the soft palate back to its neutral position while still singing that same high pitch. Now do you hear how that sound completely transformed just from lowering the soft palate? Now where we landed while still on this pitch, if not that's a different issue, that is your mix. But technically, the moment your soft palate started lowering was when your mix started. And then we just gradually kept moving the sound more and more forward. And this shows you the huge spectrum of sound that your mix can have. So try it again and see if you can hear all those different sounds as your soft palate lowers down to neutral. Congratulations! You just open up a whole new world of sound. Oh, you thought I was going to cut to a whole new world, didn't you? Well, I'm not, because I'm better than that. And because...
copyrights. Now, let's try another exercise to practice singing mix. You're going to say, nya 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 nya. And I want you to imagine that you are like a kid bragging to another kid. Because apparently you're kind of an asshole as a kid with the na 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 stuff. Now we're going to start high and move our way down while staying in this really forward mixed place. Like this. singing in a mix. Now in a few weeks I'll show you lots more about how to use mix with various genres and how to use it to do some pretty cool tricks like backflips and frisbee catches and sweet spin stops on your skates. Just wanted to make sure you were paying attention. For now, know that mix for many women is their go-to voice and belt is what they pull out when they need a little bit of power. Now for other women, belt is more their go-to voice and they use mix for softer, more tender moments in songs. But most of the time, you will use some combination of both techniques in your singing. There is no one absolute way to use it, but there are ways to make it work for you. As always, I believe that the safest and best way to make sure that you are singing correctly is to check with the pro. And hey, I'm offering you that chance for free.